We have a countdown clock to kick off here. It's now 26, uh, 12, and 48 seconds and counting. 26 so hours, right? 26 hours, yes. We're going to listen to what's happening right now on stage as the band and the cheerleaders do their thing. football fan, there are few things more exciting than watching the bowl game that your team goes to. Mm -hmm. And this is a big moment for the Ole Miss Rebels and their fans. And I haven't been to the Sugar Bowl since 1970. I mean, that's, that's a historic uh, event and a historic occasion. They're going to live it up. Oh, are they? And let me tell you, they're living it up now. I've seen them around town and all the fans and, and the team has taken part in so much that's happening all around town and enjoying the, the restaurants and all the shopping and, of course, Bourbon Street. Uh, they're on tight restraints there, but they do have a little time to get out and about, both teams, actually, to enjoy New Orleans. And, and they just love it. They enjoy everything about it. They are so excited for this football game to take off uh, tomorrow. It's just going to be such a good time. The Rebels and the Cowboys and a good old-fashioned duel. Ole Miss, as we said, hasn't been here since 1970. Oklahoma State hasn't been here to the Sugar Bowl since 1946. Ole Miss is favored by seven points to win this ball game. More to come right after a quick break here on WDSU. The Ole Miss Pep Rally happening right now in the All-State Fan Fest. You're watching WDSU's presentation of the All-State Sugar Bowl New Year's Eve Parade. 